Welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. I'm delighted to be joined by Lily Ag after just being selected and given your jersey for the World Cup. What are your thoughts um, the last couple of days? Yeah, it's been uh, overwhelming, probably a few days to be honest. It's um, been all the emotions of highs, the lows and so on. Um, hadn't really sunk in, I don't think, until, until last night when we had the Sky event and we saw the advert and... I saw my little face on the advert and was a bit of a pinch me moment um, for the realisation of, of what's happened and achieving every girl's dream of going to a World Cup and like you say today, this morning, getting the, the jersey and, and seeing my number and, and that, it's, it's all starting to, to sink in and feel a bit real. Yeah, well, I know you're saying there, you know, you, you've seen a possible, you did play your part, I mean, you did score that header. <laughs> I did, yes, that was an incredible moment for me and, and the girls. That was your first Ireland goal, was it? No, I scored v the Philippines on my debut. Yeah, so again, that was another pinch me moment of finally playing and, and getting a goal. And yeah, I've, I've had a bit of a, a journey since coming in. It's, it's been nothing but good memories, really. I've not lost in an in a island shirt. I've been involved in all games that we've won or drawn in. So it's been nothing but highs for me, to be honest. Um, so hopefully that continues. Yeah, I was just going to say, hopefully, hopefully yeah. that does continue. But... I remember Gary spoke to you after uh, the game just about kind of being from Cove and that journey and, and everything like that and to be where you are now. Did you ever envision that as a kid, that this is where you would be? No, honestly, I think it's so powerful. I, my, my, my family from Cove, so all my cousins, they, they come to the game the other night with Zambia um, and I wasn't in the squad. But it was kind of bittersweet because I wasn't in the squad for it out of precaution but I had the moment where I saw them all I was talking to them all we looked around the stadium and it was you know full and it was just they were hugging me and they were just saying how proud they are of me and 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 those moments are something that you know you, you kind of forget along the journey and and to see them there and in the in the jersey and and be like Lily 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 and posting me after it's um it's so special and uh, honestly I think I, I rang my mum the night of being selected and, and cried and, and the first thing she said obviously for, for her mum so so my grandma was you know her prayers have worked and grandma's looking over me and, and so on so did you put up a picture uh, on Instagram with her yeah she, she probably you know I I have lots of sentimental things for my grandma I'm quite a sentimental person whether it be crystals or tattoos or I, I carry my grandma's photo um, with me it travels with me and I've got a little quote from her bible that's um, lovely yeah, yeah and my mum actually gave me me a new little again from her bible um, but I bring them with me because for me it means she's there with me and, and kind of looking over me and like I said I, I've had nothing but amazing luck since being in and I, I do touch owe that <laughs> to my to my grandma yeah touch wood you know um that, that is amazing um, and it's, you know I'm sure she's watching down on you you have a few weeks now to kind of prepare how are the nerves I know speaking with Megan there she was um, it was still surreal for her she's nervous but it's excited nerves yeah I think everyone was so nervous about the squad selection and I would say it probably showed in training we've all been on eggshells, I guess, and not wanting to make mistakes and probably being a bit of a shadow of the players we can be based on, on, on the kind of what's at stake. Um, I think now, having confirmed that we're in the squad, we can kind of say to ourselves we've got nothing to lose in the sense that we're in the squad, we're on that plane, but now it's more fighting for our, our places and us being Irish girls, we don't want to just be a squad number we all want to play we all want to earn the right to, to wear that jersey and show what we're capable of um, so I think the the tempo of training will really rise now and I think the standard will improve because we're all going to be going for it we're going to be competitive and we're now going to be fighting to for a starting position and and, and that's what we all want to to happen in uh, Australia yeah because like you're looking at the World Cup people forget it, it's a tournament it's not just a case of you know, if something happens to a player, they're out. They yeah. could, they could be, that could be the whole tournament if something happens in the first game. I think it was nice to give uh, players an opportunity against Zambia to show what they could do as well. I know you sat out that game, but you showed over the course of the campaign what you could do as well. Yeah, I think exactly that. I think Vera had highlighted that everyone was going to get opportunities. Um, and look, training is training. I think personally, I would say I'm a, a game player. I... I train how I play, but ultimately you take more risks in a game in terms of 
what I do, especially in terms of putting my body on the line and, and my competitiveness goes up even higher. Um, so I think you can only really show truly what you're about in a game um, for me. So I think everyone deserves those opportunities for, for what you can do. And then it's just a case of, like you said, staying fit, staying sharp and getting those opportunities and taking them. I've had, a, again, like I said to you, really good luck since I've put the jersey on and I am haven't played essentially in four and a half months with my, my injury, but I'm working hard to get my fitness up and I feel good in training. Um, I will be a bit rusty and sharpness and so on, but... I'm looking forward to, to putting the jersey on and hopefully getting some minutes against France um, and kind of getting that rustiness over with and, and feeling back to, to the levels that I know I can be at. Just on the World Cup itself, what are your favourite memories? Or do you have a standout moment as a kid growing up? To be honest, I don't have any specific standout moments. I think, honestly, I watch every football game under the sun. Like, I'm... After my football playing career, I want to be a manager. I'm obsessed with football. I watch every game, you name it, from under 17s to men's whatever um, and so for me I think any game I watch of football I just naturally I start to now think of shapes formations players personnel and it depends on the day sometimes I watch individuals for myself and I'm like I want to watch how they play and so on um, so I never have any standout moments but it's, it's something that when you watch teams lift trophies at the end of whether it be tournaments you name it even watching recently Champions League when you see teams lift trophies like that's what it's about and it's about those moments of success and blood sweat and tears to get to that elite level of being champions and I just think that's what's so special about elite sport and watching it and seeing the journey hopefully you can have a Jack Grealish moment at the end of the World Cup with a bit of luck we'll see about that that will probably be Roosh a little John and not me <laughs> we'll say no and listen Lily thanks so much for your time best of luck over there and uh, I'll see you over there thanks Thank for you your very time much. Right? thank you